Hi friends, welcome to the channel The Nurse. Here we are discussing about 35 important crash card injections and uh, their uses, uh, uh, dose and the route of administrations. So we will go to the topic. Before that, if you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. We will move to the topic. 35 crash card emergency injection, dose, route and uses. So we will uh, start from uh, first medica medication that is injection adrenaline. So injection adrenaline, first we will discuss about uh, dose. Dose will be uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.5 to 1 milligram. Uh, that is the use of, uh, that is the dose of uh, adrenaline. Then uh, common uh, do, uh, route of administration of ad uh, adrenaline includes intravenous, intramuscular and subcutaneous. And the common uh, emergency uses includes severe allergic reactions, anaphylactic reactions, cardiac arrest, bradycardia. These are the some common uh, indications for administering injection adrenaline. Then second medicines that is noradrenaline. Noradrenaline uh, dose that is 8 to 12 microgram per minute because uh, noradrenaline is administering, uh, administering through uh, IV infusions that is why uh, 8 to 12 microgram per minute that is the rate of infusion then uh, main uh, uh, indication for administering noradrenaline that is hypertension shock these are the uh, indication for administering noradrenaline IV infusion then third injection that is also uh, uh, antihypertensive medication uh, that is dopamine dopamine dose is 2 to 20 microgram per kilogram per minute. This injection also dopamine also administered through IV infusion. Then it is also used in the case of hypotension shock that is mainly related to cardiogenic uh, reason. Noradrenaline we can use a com a common hypertension condition but uh, dopamine is us usually uh, used for the uh, hypertension or shock due to cardiogenic cause. Fourth medicine is injection atropine. Injection atropine dose is 0 0.5 to 1 milligram and dose is, uh, root is IV. I am telling about uh, main uh, uh, root of administration only. Mainly uh, atropine is used IV uh, uh, root and it is used another root also topical use for uh, dilation of uh, uh, pupil. The, uh, sub, sometimes in, uh, in uh, endotracheal administration these are the some uh, uh, rare administration route also there but commonly atropine administered through intravenous and main uh, indication for using atropine they are bradycardia cardiac arrest then injection derifilin derifilin the um, uh, dose is 10 to 20 milligram and uh, may, uh, route of administration that is intravenous and uses severe asthma and COPD. It is a bronchodilator. So it is used in the case of severe asthma and COPD. Then uh, sixth injection is injection potassium chloride. Potassium chloride dose is 40 to 80 milli equivalent and one ampule 10 ml solution uh, contains 20 milli equivalent. So uh, uh, normal dose is 40 to 80 milli equivalent. The route of administration that is only through IV slow infusion. If it is administered fastly or bolus, the person will die with the cardiac arrhythmia. Then uses uh, main uh, use is hypokalemia. Injection uh, potassium chloride is used in the case of hypokalemia. Then seventh injection that is furosemide. Common name is elastix. The dose of uh, the common dose is 20 to 80 milligram. And the root is intravenous and uh, uh, main uh, uses or indication for giving furosemide that is fluid overload and uh, hypertension. So in this condition it will remove the uh, uh, fluid, uh, fluid, extra fluid and it will reduce the high, uh, uh, blood pressure and it will reduce the fluid overload also. It is a uh, diuretic. Then eighth injection is injection diazepam. The dose is 2 to 10 milligram and root is slow intravenous uh, administration and uses 
seizures, anxiety, alcohol detox, detoxification in delirium tremens. So these are the common indication for giving injection diazepam that is seizures, anxiety and alcohol detoxification in delirium tremens. The ninth injection is phenyramine malate, the common name it is known as Avil. So dose is 25 to 50 milligram and the route of administration is intravenous or intramuscular and it is indication for giving Avil or phenyramine malate is severe allergic reaction or anaphylactic reaction. Then tenth injection is hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone it is a steroid, corticosteroid. Uh, dose is 100 to 20, 200, uh, 200 milligram and route of administration that is intravenous. Uh, main indication for giving hydrocortisone that is anaphylactic reaction, severe allergic reaction, severe inflammation and asthma condition. Then 11th one, injection nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin dose is 5 uh, microgram per minute. It is used to give IV infusion that is why the rate of infusion mentioned here. 5 microgram per minute increased by 5 microgram per minute every 3 to 5 minutes up to 20 microgram per minute. And route of administration is IV infusion, intravenous infusion and uses mainly angina and heart failure. It will uh, uh, relax the blood vessels. So that is the uh, use of nitroglycerin and it can be given uh, in the case of hypertension also. And 12th Injection is injection phenytoin, the common uh, for uh, trade name is eptoin and dose is 80 to 18 to 20 milligram per kilogram and the route of administration is intravenous or intravenous infusion that is used, usually given as a loading dose and uses mainly it is seizure anti epileptic medication so it is used in the case of seizures epilepsy and the 13th uh, injection is injection manitol. It is a osmotic diuretic and dose of uh, manitol is 0 0.25 to 2 gram per kilogram and route of administration is IV uh, fast administration and uses main indication is increased intracranial pressure. Then 14th uh, injection that is injection haloperidol dose is 1 to 5 milligram. Uh, route of administration is intravenous or intramuscular. Uh, uses indication for giving allopurinol that is acute psychosis, schizophrenia and mania. Then 15th injection. Uh, the dose is 8 to 12 microgram per kilogram. The route of administration is intravenous infusion. Uses heart failure arrhythmia, cardiac arrhythmias. These are the indication for giving digoxin. And if, it, if heart rate is below uh, 60 means uh, we cannot give injection digoxin. Then 16th uh, injection is lidocaine. The common dose is 1 to 1.5 milligram per kilogram slow IV bolus over 2 to 3 minutes. And the route of administration is IV infusion or slow IV bolus. The main uh, use of uh, injection lidocaine that is arrhythmias. Then 17th injection, injection amiodarone. Amiodarone is used, uh, that is dose is 0 0.5 milligram per minute and route of administration is IV infusion only and the main uses includes arrhythmias and cardiac arrest. Then 18th injection, that is injection adenosine. Adenosine, uh, it is the common uh, doses, uh, that is 6 milligram, which may be repeated in 12 milligram and route of administration is fast IV bolus because after uh, the uh, half life of adenosine is very uh, uh, low. So we need to administer as a fast IV bolus. Immediately administering adenosine, we need to push 20 milliliter of uh, uh, normal uh, normal uh, sodium chloride uh, uh, injection, or uh, we can give uh, 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 sterile water also. So it will reach the systemic circulation as much as fast. That is why giving and uh, in as per ACLS protocol, we need to elevate the uh, extremity. If it is administered through uh, uh, our upper limbs, so we need to elevate the extremity after giving adenosine dose. The main uses of uh, ingestion adenosine, that is 
supraventricular tachycardia and uh, one more another uh, management in supraventricular tachycardia is carotid massage then 19th injection that is odansetron common name is emiset and the dose is 4 to 8 mg route is intravenous and uh, uses includes severe nausea and vomiting 20th injection that is soda bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate uh, dose is 1 milli equivalent per kilogram per dose and the route of administration is IV infusion or slow IV bolus uses mainly acidosis either respiratory or metabolic acidosis then 20 uh, first uh, injection that is 3 percentage of sodium chloride that is dose is 0 0.5 to 1 milli equivalent per liter per hour and route of administration is IV infusion uh, mainly it is used in hyponatremia it should be infused very slowly otherwise it will uh, cause uh, demyelinating changes in uh, brain 22nd injection that is injection magnesium sulfate uh, dose is 1 to 2 gram slow IV and root is always IV infusion uses includes eclampsia and preeclampsia Torsadis depoindus condition that is cardiac arrhythmia and in the case of hypomagnesia. These are the condition indications uh, for giving injection magnesium sulfate. Then 23rd uh, injection that is IV dextran. It is not dextrose. It is a IV dextran solution that is uh, dose is 20 milliliter per kilogram body weight and the route of administration is IV infusion. It is used to as, uh, as a replacement for uh, blood in uh, if it is taking uh, too many uh, too much time to replace the blood transfusion so we can re temporarily replace uh, uh, re uh, replace the uh, blood with the uh, dextran solutions hypovolemia due to severe blood loss that is the main indication for giving dextran solution then 24th uh, medicine is amiodarin we, uh, that is uses is include treatment of ventricular arrhythmias atrial fibrillation and flutter and cardiac arrest. So these are the indication for giving amiodarin. Common name is quadron and the route of administration is intravenous injection or intravenous infusion. Dosage of administration 150 to 300 milligram IV intravenous over 10 to 20 minutes followed by a maintenance infusion of 1 milligram per minute for 6 hours then 0 0.5 milligram per minute for 18 hours. It is usually given for maintaining cardiac arrhythmia. So, uh, it should be given uh, first uh, loading dose, then maintenance dose has to uh, continue. Then 25th uh, medicine is tranexamic acid. Tranexamic acid emergency uses include control bleeding in surgery, trauma and postpartum hemorrhage. Rate of uh, route of administration is IV injection or IV infusion. Dosage include 1 gram IV over 10 minutes followed by a maintenance infusion of 1 gram over 8 hours. It is coming at uh, coming as a ampule containing 500 milligram. So, dose of administration is 1 gram IV over 10 minutes followed by a maintenance infusion. Then 26th injection also that is for controlling bleeding only name is ethamsilate. Ethamsilate emergency use control of bleeding in surgery trauma and postpartum hemorrhage uh, main route of administration is IV injection or infusion also it can be used as a local application in dental surgery and all so that time we can keep uh, ethyl slate in a cotton and keep it uh, in bleeding site and a dosage of administration is 500 milligram to 1 gram IV every 6 to 8 hours up to maximum 2.5 grams per day and 27th injection that is also used to control bleeding name is octreotide. Octreotide emergency use is control of bleeding from esophageal viruses as uh, uh, in cirrhosis of uh, liver due to portal hypertension there is a chance of esophageal viris, uh, varicel, uh, varicel bleeding. It is an emergency condition. If it is un uh, untreated means patient will die with hypovolemia. So in that condition octreotide is the uh, drug of choice to control uh, bleeding esophageal varicel bleeding. Route of administration 
subcutaneous injection or IV injection or IV infusion. Dosage of administration includes subcutaneous injection of 50 to 100 microgram three times a day or IV injection or infusion 50 to 100 microgram every eight hours. 28th injection is oxytocin. Oxytocin emergency use, uh, introduction, injection and augmentation of labor, uh, pre prevention or treatment of postpartum hemorrhage and the management of incomplete or missed abortion. It is an obstetric emergency drug, oxytocin. And the route of administration is IV injection or IV infusion or IM injection. Uh, dosage of administration is IV injection of or infusion of 10 to 40 units in 1000 milliliter of a compatible solution infused at a rate of 1 to 2 milli units per minute or IM injection of 10 units. Then another obstetric emergency medicine that is ergometrin. Ergometrin, uh, the emergency use uh, that is control of postpartum hemorrhage and prevention of treatment of uterine atony after childbirth. Uh, the common name of ergometrin that is trade name is methargin. And you uh, route of administration of ergometrin that is IM injection. Doso, uh, dosage of administration is 0.2 milligram IM injection repeated as necessary up to a maximum of 0.8 milligram in 24 hours. Then 30th injection is calcium gluconate. Calcium gluconate is uh, emergency use includes treatment of hyperkalemia, hypocalcemia and certain drug overdose including calcium channel blockers. Route of administration is IV injection or IV infusion. Dosage of administration is 1 gram. 1 gram means 10 ml of calcium uh, 10 percentage of solution uh, that is 1 gram. IV injection over 5 to 10 minutes repeated as necessary. Uh, then haloperidol I think it is repeated. Emergency uses we have already uh, uh, informed that is in acute psychosis and severe agitation and manic condition, delirium condition. These are the indication for giving haloperidol. Route of administration IM or IV. Dosage of administration generally the uh, recommended dose is 2 to 5 milligram IM IV and may be repeated every 4 to 8 hours as needed. Then 30 second uh, injection uh, that is naloxone. It is used in uh, mainly in operation room. Emergency uses includes reversal of respiratory depression and sedation caused by opioid overdose or as a part of uh, anesthesia reversal. Route of administration of naloxone includes intravenous, intramuscular, subcutaneous or intranasal. These are the uh, routes of administration of naloxone. Intranasal spray, spray also uh, coming. Uh, naloxone spray also coming. Dosage of administration IV, IM, subcutaneous, 0 0.4 to 2 milligram, repeated as needed every 2 to 3 minutes. Intranasal spray, that is 2 milligram in each nostril. Then 33rd uh, injection, that is uh, injection IV fluid dextrose. And IV fluid, dextrose, normal saline, etc. Et uh, also, it is an emergency medic uh, medicine only. Uh, here, we are discussing IV dextrose uses, treatment of hypoglycemia. IV dextrose is coming uh, in the concentration of 5%, 10%, 25%, 50%. So, uh, uh, according to the uh, severity of uh, hypoglycemia, we can administer the uh, that uh, required uh, dextrose solution. And also, it is a uh, a source of energy as an immediate uh, it will uh, give uh, source of, as a source of energy if it is giving intravenously and the route of administration is intravenous infusion dosage of administration is 25 to 50 grams IV bolus repeated as needed then 34th uh, injection is vasopressin vasopressin emergency use includes treatment of cardiac arrest and vasodilatory shock and vasopressin also used in uh, in another condition that is uh, syndrome SI ADH, syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretions. So in that condition also there will be uh, pouring of uh, urine output. So that, uh, to control that one we can administer vasopressin. Route of administration is uh, intravenous, intravenous infusion. Dosage of administration in cardiac arrest 40 units IV bolus once. Vasodilatory shock, we can administer 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 units per minute IV infusion. 
Then 35th uh, injection is thiamine. Thiamine also it is used as an emergency medicines. So it is used in the case of vernicular Korsakoff syndrome, alcohol withdrawal symptom, syndrome and uh, certain types of drug overdose. And the route of administration intravenous or intramuscular. A dosage of administration uh, 100 microgram IV IM repeated as needed every 8 to 12 hours. In case of alcohol withdrawal syndrome or vernicase syndrome, the dosage may be increased to 500 uh, microgram IV IM daily. So that is about 35 uh, crash cat emergency medicines. So if you know more medicines means you can comment it below and we will discuss uh, in a another, uh, second part video. So thank you for watching this video. And if you have a doubt means you can ask in comment section. So I will try to solve your doubts there. And if you like this video means please share with your friends and we will come with another video in next uh, coming days. So thank you.